Hey, this is Marcus Kessoson from aetots.com and I'm going to show you how you can make one of these typography movies. Yeah, here we go for the hundred time, hand grenade pins in every line, throw them up! Right, so this tutorial is going to be based on my own typography movie that I made with the song Thinking Park. I'm going to show you how I did and how I worked when I did this movie. So, let's begin. First of all, open a new composition. I'm going to name this Bleed It Out because we're going to use that song again. Um, import the sound, bleed it out and drag it down to the composition. So the first step when it comes to syncing the sound to the audio is basically just to write the text you're going to use. We're going to use the lyrics for the bleed it out text. And when you're done with the typing we will go to our Audi layer, press LL, and hold down the control key to scrub through the audio. So there I heard the here, so we're going to crop down the layers to the first sentence there. And you zoom in a bit. And we will listen to the we. Go. Go. Oops. For the. You need to listen very carefully. Time. There we can hear the time. So let's see if it's alright. Yeah, here we go for the hundred time. Looking good. Right, so let's pre-compose this. Name it one. And let's begin with the other sentence. And we're going to do the second sentence exactly the same as we did with the first sentence. Just going to type out the words layer by layer. It's very important that you do this layer by layer because we're going to animate these words later. And we're done with the typing. We will go to our audio layer again and do the same thing again. We will hold down the control. Just going to crop them first. Zoom in. And hold down control. Not right. There. Listen to the G. Grenade. That's the P. Looking good. Let's pre-compose this too. Name it two. Just going to crop that down. Yeah, here we go for the Oops. Yeah, here we go for the hundred time. Hand grenade pins in every line. I think the hand just cut off just too bit too early. Yeah, here we go for the hundred time, hand grenade pins in every line. Right, so looking good. Now we're going to start designing this, this text. So we're going to choose a cool font. I'm going to choose the same font I used in my own topography movie. And we're going to line this up. So this looks good. Here we go. There ain't so much to say about this process, just I'm going to design this the same way I did with my own topography movie. I'm just going to copy its position, just to line them up. Same thing for 4. And we're going to choose copy the 4's position to D. And the word for and the seems to be a bit too big, you just need to scale them down.
Okay, I'm going to just move them down, right? Move them down a little bit. Looks pretty good. Let's do the same thing with the hundreds. Move them down. Scale them up. Move them down again. Scale them up. And moving down. Right, that looks pretty good to me. Let's go to our next sentence. Three D and motion blur and rotate it negative ninety degrees. Let's look at the grenade. Oops. I rotated it the all the layers ninety degrees. So we need to rotate the hand. Right, so the grenade. Just copy and paste the position of the hand and scale up the grenade. Move it a bit to the right. It's going to move down the pins. Choose pins position and copy the, those to the other words. Drag it to the right and drag every to the right and align. Seems a bit too small, so I'm just going to scale them up a bit. Just move them down and move them in again. Right, that looks pretty good to me. Let's start animating. So we go into the first pre compose. And what I want to do is have the here word fly out, uh, fly in. Um, so we're going to animate the Z position, go back three frames and push the Z position in there. And I want the word hundred to flying from the back. So I'm going to set the keyframe for position. Just move it back. I also want it to fade in so I animate the transparency, the opacity. Uh, and I want to animate the time too. And choose the mask tool because I want to animate the mask on the word time. So let's set a keyframe for the path. And what I want to do is to make the time word seems like it's coming from from the back of the hundred. So let's take the bottom value to the top value. Move the position position up. Oops. This one the first position. Move them up. And there we go. Pretty cool effect, eh? Let's look. Yeah, here we go for the hundred time. Looking pretty good. So next step in this tutorial is to start animating with the camera. So new camera. 35mm, oops, no 3D layers in the composition. Just turn into 3D. I'll use the null object as a camera controller. Parent it. Now 
and what I want to do is to start with the camera on the word here um, zoom in to the word set the right keyframe and move there we see the word we and just set the key and what I want to do here is to zoom in on the word we we hmm. there we go and uh, when the go comes up I want it to make I want to have the focus on we go so center these two words for the just going to zoom out a bit And when the hundred comes, I want to zoom out again. Center it. And we'll do the same thing here. When the time comes, we want to zoom it out so we can see the whole text. Center it, center it. Let's preview. Looking good. Uh, let's preview this with motion blur. Even better. So what I want to do now is to make a pretty cool transition to the next sentence. And I want to do that by zooming out with the camera. And we're going to position this next sentence, negative 150 pixels. And let's set the keyframe for the camera. Move forward and zoom out until we see the word hand. Awesome. And we want to rotate the camera too. negative 90 and we want to fade out the first sentence so let's go into opacity press T for opacity set it down to 0 looking good and what I do now is to rotate the camera so we will have focus on the grenade so move it back to zero and let's try to center this and grenade and I want to do just to when the pins in every line comes up I just wanted to zoom out even more Just push the Z position on the null just this bit. Just center this a bit. There. Oops. Just going to change the keyframe velocity a bit. Linear. Awesome. We there. And the last part we're going to do with the camera is just to zoom by the next sentence. Motion blur. Looks like the rotation to the hand to the grenade seems to be too fast. Just going to stand a bit two frames. That's pretty. looks pretty good so let's preview this video one more time with the sound on so that's it that's my tutorial on how to make a topography movie hope you guys learn a lot 
This has been Marcus Gustafsson from aetas.com. Thanks for listening.